what's up guys welcome to the video and as you can tell in the title and by the shirt I am sporting right now the brand new Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom trailer has just dropped on Thursday Night Football I have not watched it yet I've waited to watch it here online with you guys and I could not be more excited that my favorite favorite film franchise that's a mouthful favorite film franchise of all time Jurassic Park is coming back to the big screen this summer and uh, I'm so excited that the first official trailer is finally here. So without any further ado, let's get into it and see what they've got in store for us this summer. So here we go. So, uh, what are you dating like an accountant now? Owen. Ventriloquist? Stop it. You love a dummy. This is not why we're here. I love their chemistry back and forth. Try to shame me. Main gates are destroyed. <laughs> A rescue arm. Save the dinosaurs from the island that's about to explode. What could go wrong? Blue is alive. You raised her. Aw, my oh, baby Blue's so cute. Do these animals deserve the same protections given to other species? Yeah, can't be. Or should they just be left to die? Dinosaurs were. We'll never get all oh, we've got Ian Malcolm back and Rexy. Careful. We're gonna be here after. I look like a baryonyx, which would be a new dinosaur in the franchise. There we got blue. Dinosaur. Got a Carnotosaurus. Oh, Rexy! That's your money shot right there. Wow. Life cannot be contained. Life breaks free. Wow. That, Life. That's a new dinosaur. What was that? Away. Wow. Oh my. chaotic I mean which is a chaotic which is fitting why uh, Dr. Ian Malcolm is back um, the chaotician uh, wow that was very action-packed if you ask me uh, for a franchise that uh, the first Jurassic Park movie was very kind of character driven where you fell in love with the characters then the second movie you focused a lot um, on the characters again I feel like this franchise has really focused on human characters and then thrown dinosaurs in to kind of pump up the movie a little bit. Uh, we have the same cast for the most part. You've got Claire and Owen coming back, uh, Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard in the sequel. So we already have those characters established a little bit. Uh, so I feel like this movie is going to be more dinosaur focused. And with the amount of action I just saw, uh, I want to see it again. I want, I want to watch this trailer again uh, because there was just so much going on, so much happening. Uh, so much to digest, and uh, yeah, let's watch this trailer one more time. Again, uh, I saw three new dinosaurs. Uh, we saw a Carnotosaurus, a Baryonyx, and then what almost looked like an Indominus Rex, but smaller, almost like a raptor, um, like a big raptor, but a small Indominus. I mean, maybe it's another hybrid or something. So um, I definitely saw three new dinosaurs in this trailer, uh, but let's rewatch this again because that was awesome. Here we go. So, uh, what are you dating like an accountant now? Or Owen. Ventriloquist? Stop it. You love a dummy. This is not why we're here. You can blame me. Try Chris Press is so likable. I know why we're here. Such a good lead. A rescue arm. Save the dinosaurs from an island that's about to explode. What could go wrong? Blue is alive. Yeah. You raised her. Yeah. 
Do these animals deserve the same protections given to other species? Or should they just be left to die? That's an interesting concept. These creatures were here before us. And if we're not careful, they're going to be here after. I want to touch on that quote after the trailer. I'm going to try to remember that and touch on that quote because it's interesting. I love Blue. So much personality in that, in that character, even though it's a dinosaur. I love it. So much. <laughs> that is insane. That's awesome. That's so cool. That will never get old. Life cannot be contained. That shot. Life breaks free. Life. Finds a way. Life finds a way. I don't know how life is gonna find a way in this madness. Oh my. Wow. They're in the water here. I wonder if we're gonna see the Mosasaur. Because the Mosasaur was trapped in that lake. I don't know if that lake or that kind of reservoir or whatever they had to contain the Mosasaur in Jurassic World. I don't know if that connected to the ocean, um, but hopefully they touch on that and hopefully the Mosasaur does get out because, man, like, wouldn't that be exciting for the Mosasaur to get into, like, a battle with a ship or a sub or something? Like, that would be such a cool scene. Um, but yes, the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom trailer was awesome. And I know I said I was going to touch on that quote where um, Jeff Goldblum's character, Ian Malcolm, said the dinosaurs were here before us and they could be here after us. I wonder if they're going to set up by rescuing this, these dinosaurs, taking them to the mainland, and then having these dinosaurs almost like in a sense of like the Planet of the Apes, them take retaking over the world and then the Jurassic World 3 possibly 4 whatever like you would have us no longer as the dominant species here on earth and you would have more of that kind of like war feeling but between humans and dinosaurs just an idea but I love this trailer comment down below let's talk about Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom what do you guys think is going to happen what do you think about the trailer I loved it again I'm wearing a Jurassic Park shirt I'm obviously biased it's my favorite movie of all time but I had so much fun with this trailer and I'm so excited for what they're going to show us this summer but um if you guys like the video make sure to like the video if you haven't subscribed go hit that red subscribe button thanks again for watching guys and i will talk to you in the next one peace